We are at the sharp end of things now as we begin the semi-finals here at the Long Drive World Series event in London at the beautiful Melbourne Club at Brockett Hall. Yeah, two Brits are left. We've got a local favourite, two-time world champion Joe Miller. He takes on Ilya Djurjevic all the way from Serbia. And in the other semi-final from South Africa, it's Jason Cook against our last remaining qualifier who hit it the further so far as well, and that is Matt Nicole. Over to the action with your commentary team. Semi-final number one, great friends, Joe against Ilya. That's what they call each other. And they've had a bet as well, a little sportsman's bet. If Joe loses, he has to grow his hair. If Ilya loses, that beard that he's been growing for six years will be gone. This is a great matchup for the semi-finals. You've both had it well so far to get to this point. Anticipation high, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, we, we got to the semi-finals. There's no easy matches, um, you know, no matter where you are in the tournament. So uh, expect to be a good match. Ilya, feeling confident? Good hits so far in qualification seeding and indeed tonight? Well, I'm playing against the King of Long Drive, so I hope I'll be the King Slayer tonight. <laughs> so we have, hopefully, this is going to be fun to watch. So Joe, as the highest ranked player, gets to choose whether he goes first or second. And uh, Lee Cox, who's Joe Miller's coach, that's a tactic he always employs. I always, yeah. I, I'm never sure I'd uh, employ that. I'd like to put a target up, but Joe's always done it that way. He likes to know the number he's got to get, and, you know, he's been successful over many years. So Ilya Djurdovic, he's up first. He's got a very elegant swing for a long driver, hasn't he, Lee? Well, he's a blend. I mean, he's a long driver and he's a professional back in his home country. Very, very good player. We can, you know, you can see from the slow motion here, this is a long driver and a pro swing. He's got that magic, magic change of direction. Posted a number here, 371. Um, lovely shot to start off with. I see he's got a really wide takeaway. Is, is this another uh, tactic tip for a long driver? Well, it's probably a bit um, of a preference for him. He goes wide and then gets narrow on the way down. So he, he gets a lovely downswing position. That's probably just his own preference there. But um, a very good player, as I said. And, and not physically as big as Joe Miller, but technically He's very sound, as you've alluded to. Yeah, uh, I've been watching him today. I've never seen him swing it as good or hit it as good. He got to this semi-final here today, and uh, it's something that the people at home can look at. I mean, he, he's dominated today on the basis of how well he's hit the ball. He's just middled it. He just hit lovely, lovely golf shots. And we're seeing, because of the hard ground, he's had his last couple of shots just sneaking off of the grid, but he's still really striking the ball well. Yeah, uh, the ball's got to stay in the grid. Even if it bounces out and goes back in, it, it's out. Um, I think this is in there. This is a good one. This looks very straight. He, after he hit it, he went to get his tee. Normally a good sign. Good numbers there as well. 140 mile an hour club at speed. To put that in perspective, the average guy on tour is 113. This is doing a lot on the floor as well. He's going to like this. That's a very good hit uh, for Ilya Djurdovic. Uh, they're giving Joe Miller something to think about. Yeah, uh, the last thing as a long driver you want to do is OB the grid. You want to give the other man something to work for. He hasn't quite liked that, but he has put a number up for Joe to chase. And again, we just get another chance to look at this lovely, elegant swing and that, that lovely change of direction. And the, the hips and those shoulders just separate. What a, a lovely move. Ali, just for someone that has never been uh, to a long drive uh, competition, how wide is the grid compared to an average fairway? Well, it can, it can vary a little bit, Three, but it can be up to two, sort of 50, 35 one. to 50 yards wide. However, at 400 yards, that only plays 15 yards wide, so it's not as wide as you think. OK, so Joe Miller, former world champion up here now in this first of two semi-finals. 404 yards is the number to beat. Well within his capabilities, though, Lee. Uh, yeah, he's been swinging it lovely at the moment. Uh, it can get a little bit long, as we'll see in a couple of slow motions, but his, his delivery and swing has been excellent in the last few weeks. He'll fancy this number, and that looks seriously That's good. That's beautiful. 150 miles an hour club head speed. Well, not just that, uh, matching that with the ball speed at 214. They're using hard playing balls. They're not using rock hard, um, long drive balls. But that's really, really going to move down there. So tremendous club head speed. 150 mile an hour. I don't even think the plane that I take to IB for goes that fast. The, uh, he's matched it again. He's gone 150 again. And when he's on this type of form, he's just filling up this grid as well. There he is, 416 yards. So he's already gone uh, past Ilya and he looks like he's got a good rhythm, good momentum going at the moment. He'll just build on this now. He's just going to push the pedal on this speed. There we go, 154, 154. The number's going. Let's see what this does on the floor. Oh, the ground's perfect, but what a golf shot. Look at this number flying up on the left. 433 yards. He's driving 
Long par fours at most golf, most golf courses, Lee. He's pitching them on the green there. <laughs> oh, he's not big again. Joe Miller looking good for the final as it stands. Uh, what have you been working on through the winter? Well, uh, it's been a long journey, really, from uh, teaching him for many years. And now, if anything, we've been taking a little bit away. Um, just that swing of his gets a little bit long on the back. And we've really got his, uh, his ball flight and his numbers, his angle of attack and spin back. Another great number there. Um, so uh, a lot of what we've been doing in the last few weeks is getting the, this ball coming off the club perfectly for him. Just have enough time to hit one more. Lenny doesn't like that one, but he has posted a big enough number for Ilya Djurdovic to have to beat and play his power ball. So the power ball is happening behind me, 433 yards from Joe Miller. That is the target Ilya Djurdovic has to beat. So here goes. If that stays in the grid, it might be something. Pretty good golf shot. He's going to need something special on the floor, though. I'm calling for that sprinkler head. I'm not sure if there are any sprinkler heads in this grid. Just trickled out, unlucky. He's come up short of that distance. Yeah. I think he'd be happy with his performance today, Ilya. He's, he's done himself proud. Best I've seen from him. Well, I gave him my best. Um, I didn't connect it the way I wanted, but it's Joe. He's the king of long draw, so I, I'm happy. <laughs> Well, give it up for Ilya, but listen, Joe, just finally, you've got bigger every time from the qualifying out to the last 16 quarterfinals. You've gone bigger, you've gone bigger again in the semi. Are you expecting to go one bigger in the final and win this thing? Yeah, I'd like to. Obviously, going against these next two guys, and uh, Matt and Jay, um, you know, you're going to have to. So, you know, I'd, I was happy when I hit the ball there. Um, you, you know, there's a, there's a few bounces out there you need to find, and uh, let's hope I find one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the winner. He's through to the final, Joe Miller. What a semi-final. Terrific sport. Both those players. Well done to Joe and Ilya. So, ladies and gents, it is time for the second semi-final. Please give it up. A big round of applause. Matt Nicole is up against, from South Africa, Jason Cook. So, Matt Nicole representing the UK. Jason Cook representing South Africa, a country that has produced some amazing golfers uh, down the years. Matt Nicole, who works full-time as a golf pro, he's actually given me a golf lesson, Lee. You've never done that. How are you feeling though, Jason, after your performance in the quarterfinals? Yeah, it's always nervous being in a quarterfinal, going into a semi, into a, into a final. So, but uh, great hitter that I'm going up against, Matt. Um, we are trying to put on a show now. Matt, you kept the nerves in check brilliantly in the quarterfinals. 439 yards. Got more in your locker? Um, I think the range is 440, isn't it? So. <laughs> but yeah, there might be one in there. But we'll see. That's, that, we'll just put some good swings on it and see what happens. So Jason Cook with his fancy pants going first. And let's see how he uh, gets on. A little left to right on there. Maybe not ideal to get as much run as you want. That one not staying in the gridley. No, uh, Jason, all night I was watching him. He's got these um, little uh, phase just going away from it. Seems to be his shot. But he's posting good club head speeds. 139, 140. And we'll see with this slow-mo. He looks like a golfer, then he turns into a baseball player about here. Yeah. So, but, uh, you know, to his age to be moving these speeds and these distances, he's a real great athlete. 365 yards registered on the grid uh, for him, so... Yeah, it's, it's, it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. He'd want more from this, but 138, he's pushing, and uh, pretty damn good ball speed. 200 miles an hour ball speed in long drive will make you competitive. You can really see the baseball technique there. Very wide stance. Is that, is, is that good for... a? Long driver? Uh, in, in theory, it, it, it probably with a slightly narrower stance, it, it slowed down. I believe he has a long-term injury, which has created that swing method as well, as well as his baseball background. So he, he's working with what he's got here. OK. So let's see if he can get his club head speed up and over that 140 miles an hour mark. I think once you get out to that 140 mile an hour mark, Lee, you start getting the real distances. Yeah, I, I think people are very often look at club head speeds with these long drive guys, but ball speed for me is a bit magic. Again, he's touching at 200 miles an hour, which is going to put him up good yardage. But 3.72 again with that last drive. Okay, let's see how he's getting on here. That one looked a little bit quicker. Yeah, I think he's pulled that left. I think that's going to miss the grid up the left side. OK, so I think 3.72 is the number uh, for Matt to beat. Like I said, he gave me a lesson before. I was watching him hitting the ball indoors. It was incredible, the sound. Yeah, I mean, uh, Matt gets the most out of it. We'll see his numbers come up in a minute. 
but he's all about launch and spin. I mean, he's just got an absolutely beautiful swing. He's not a big guy like the other guys, but he is getting everything out of what he does. Big thing for Matt, he hits the grid a lot. So he's not going to give you a set. He's going to make you work for the set. He will get something in here. He will not give it to Jason. And as you, you just mentioned, his, his frame, his, his stature, much more wiry than Joe. But does that allow him to move through the ball quicker? Um, not necessarily from a speed point of view. Um, uh, he's got massive flexibility. He's got huge spinal and arm flexibility. This looks like a good shot going down here. And he's very fast in the transition. Uh, I don't know this as a fact, but possibly if he was bigger, he might be able to swing it a bit faster. But I just love his swing. I wonder if in a couple of years you see him start putting on more muscle mass. And maybe, possibly. We're looking at this one coming down the grid now. 404, uh, that's enough. Uh, but may, he might possibly do that as an option. OK, 138 again, what, 200 ball spins. And that's very take... straight. That looks like one of the straightest hits that we've seen in the semi-final so far. As I was saying earlier, a lot of shape isn't a great thing in long drive. It's a glancing blow. So this straight hit in low spinning, this is where he, he makes up. He wins a lot of tournaments on the back of this. 393 yards, hitting within himself again like an arrow. Right, the speed here, this is a big jump in club head speed. He's really moved this up here. 146, 185, lovely looking golf shot. Let's see what it does on the floor got to be over 400 Look at yards. these hands high behind his head. What a lovely move this is. Not quite 400 yards. Can you teach me to hit it like that? Uh, about 10 years, and I think we're going to be there, you know? <laughs> My back wouldn't stand up to that. Excellent hitting there from uh, Matt Nicole. Uh, Jason's got the speed. It's only about whether he can hit the shot. So um, it's all down to ball strike and ball speed. Jason now with his power ball. He's had that, he's had that fade. That fade's been the bane of him today. He's, he's let it go right. It, it's all over. Uh, Flight scope said, not tonight. No, no. He's, uh, he's had a great performance here, Jason. He'd be, he'd be pleased getting to this stage. It was always going to be a tough ass to go against Matt. Matt never misses this grid. Guys, very well played, Matt. Very good performance once again. Another drive over 400 yards, 404 yards. How are you liking the grid here at the Melbourne Club at Brockett Hall? Yeah, I am liking the grid here, to be fair. Um, it has been good the last two days, really. It's been really dry. It's been a little downwind early on today. I think the wind settled a little bit now, but um, didn't hit it quite as good there, but it just caught a couple down the right side, which is running pretty hot tonight. Jason, well played. Commiserations. Tough opponent today, though. He's getting them out there, isn't he? Yeah, he was. Great hitter. I hope you enjoyed your experience here, though. It's been another fantastic event. Yeah, the events are always awesome. And uh, thanks to the crowd here yeah, in London, it's been an awesome event so far. Matt, I've got to ask you about the final coming up against the man who knows how to get it done in this sport, Joe Miller. What are your thoughts? What are your feelings? What's your approach? Um, I'm going to have to hit a little bit better than that, I think. Um, you know, um, he's been picking up speed all the way through this. He's been picking up numbers as well. So, you know, if I can keep a few in, get a few good numbers, it should be close, but we'll see how it goes. Matt Nicole, congratulations through to the final. Jason Cook, commiserations. Brilliant semi finalists. Guys, give it up for Matt and Jason. Nice With the standard increasing round by round, the crowd really getting into the action here at Brockett Hall. And there was a little added incentive as well for Joe Miller against Ilya Djerdovic in the semi-final, a haircut bet. It proved to work because he made it through convincingly to the final. Yes, so did Matt Nicole as well. A convincing win for him over South African Jason Cook. We've got an all-English final as well, so it should be an absolute belter.